Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. We pick things up for episode 2 from turn 7 in the autumn season of 191. So last episode, we tried to follow history by taking Pingyuan because that's where Liu Bei should be. And we got the story event to go help Tao Tian out against Tao Tao. So we're going to do that now. We're going to rush right back. We're not going to expand any farther here. There's really no point because I will eventually just give up on this territory. We don't even get a break. We have to cross the river again. I actually want him to attack me. It's better that he attacks me here than take my town. So please come attack me. I will build this up because it seems like I might get to keep it. Hmm. I might actually just want to go peasantry here because I'm not going to get that from Konro. I might as well just... Get some food while I'm at it. I cancelled him because I thought I was going to use him over there. I guess I still can use him over here because I would like to upgrade that one more time too. That would work. Yeah, that would be it. Let's see what Huang Shao does. And Tashis is making sure we don't get to keep Ping Man over here. That's fine. We'll give it to him. If we stayed, we would have a chance to loop the city and capture him, but I'm actually pretty happy we didn't do that. So far, we haven't looped yet, and I'm going to try to not loop. Alright. Sun Jian's dead, so that's historical. Let's hope Dong Zhuo dies too. Oh, we forgot to recruit Cheng Gong, but he should still be there. Yu Yu. Looking at the clothing choice, I'm guessing he's representing one of the nomadic tribes. Cheng Gong's still here. Oh, the Yem province governor seal, which he's going to present to, I guess, Liu Bu and Cao Cao. I mean, it's, it's just a nice item added by TUP. We're going to grab him for sure. He has no pass alliances, so he's free. Zhou Tai also has no pass alliance, so he's free. Uh, we'll grab both of them. We don't have an extra army slot to use them right now, but we will. Zhou Tai comes with the wide blade. Na natural courage makes sense, makes him unbreakable, kind of overkill. Wait, Stuart courage? Maybe it's a level up armor, similar to Zhao Yun's armor and MTU. Because he, this, this doesn't make sense that he can't have his own set. But unbreakable is overkill because Undying Vow will give him unbreakable. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the armor setup. Chunggong didn't get any unique weapon, didn't get any change to his background, didn't get any change to his skills, but did get this unique item. So this would be the governor's seal for the Yan province. We kind of talked about this in the last episode. Cao Cao is going to be in control of the Yan province after Bao Xin kind of put him there after Liu Dai's death, uh, fighting the Qingzhou um, yellow turbans. And this gives pretty good administrator bonuses, just plus five point public order actually. Resistant to the Conquerors. The set should be activated, but it's not picking it up right now. It might just be a color... It might just be like not highlighting. We'll see in battle if this does anything, but I'm assuming it, it does work. Because I've seen sets just not getting picked up, but it, it should just work regardless. Alright, pretty happy. He disappeared. He might be ambushing somewhere. I... Don't think I have to worry. I mean, I have to worry about it, but I can't. I can't do anything about it. Well, he failed. That's the good news. I get to fight him on the open field. Okay, these two are annoying, but that's about it. All right, we're probably gonna have to take this fight slowly. We are defending, I believe. So we can have them come to us. because it's a failed ambush. Oh, we're not even gonna know if they show up or not until they're super close. Okay, we gotta go out. We have to, like, they could be walking towards us right now and we just have no clue. Alright. 
I mean, we're gonna prey on your weakest units, not your strongest. I'm trying to send their general to fight our general. I don't want to get whacked for free. I'm pretty sure if we just stand and whack each other, I win that fight. But we don't really want that outcome. Alright, we're gonna split Zhang Fei off to kill off the other archer. We already routed most of their troops. I'm um, fire at them, actually? No. Sorry. I have no health. I'm not interested in fighting you. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just shoot them. Try to keep him occupied with a cavalry unit. John Fei freed up. Go help fight that. The E archers are actually pretty decent in melee, so I'm not gonna worry about the general running at them. We'll try to route this guy first. Or this guy. Have him focus on the general here. John Fei, take care of him. Why don't you take care of him? Okay, you occupy the other general. Right, make sure he doesn't bounce back. Just going to melee. Alright, nice. Routed that completely, routed that completely. Go work on him. I'll take you. You're gonna die here. Zhang Fei has no mercy. Alright, you run after him. Pull out your bow. Fire over here. How are you doing? Just keep chasing. Go help out over here. Alright, stay on top. Do they have a relationship between the two of them? They don't. Okay, so we can kill him. Stop. No friendly fire. I think Huang Shao's time is up. We don't have to keep him around. Oh, uh, just a poke. Okay. Oh, Guan Yu also killed him too. That was fast. That's the power of our three brothers here. Alright. He does have a weapon. Uh, the art makes me want to not kill him, but since we can never recruit yellow turbans, I'm going to pick up the weapon. And plus, executing yellow turbans should make the other factions around here like me. We do have flexibility for replenishment boost, so that's going to be good. Now, we did pick an option which would improve our relationship. You can see 77 points right now. We can trend towards 150, and that would put us in negative 50 here. Our military strength is too low, which is not surprising. Hmm. We can get a really good deal right now, which I think we will. He should pay us for helping him against Hult Hult. And we have to be delicate here. To preserve history, we can't kill Tal Tal, even though we probably can. But we'll just do some fighting. And wait for Tal Tian to die, I think. And that's going to trigger, perhaps, the Confederation event. But you no see that we that. actually worked our relationship to the point where it's trending towards 150. And we can actually push for that right now. And just to check confederation value, because as little bit we can unify. 
，足下所提，实令我等佩服。And we can kind of just gauge if we can get to that point where we can perhaps just take over the faction. That'd be the best. That's our way of making things historical, in case he doesn't die of old age. 足下所提，实令我等佩服。如此甚善。Right now we're very friendly, but we want to be best friends. Over 150. Come on. Getting there. Now I believe Liu Bei's first and I think Liu Bei married her once he came over here. Alright, we're at 150. Yeah, minus 50 points. This is probably the lowest we can get it to. So now what we have to do is just build an army. We've been saving up a lot of money for this purpose. So let's assume Tao Tian gave us those heavy spear units historically and give that to Guan Yu. Liu Bei over here. We could pick up more E archers. But I don't know if he should be running the range units really. It's not like he has really high cunning either. Perhaps just more cavalry unit might do it. But we're very poor in terms of upkeep amount and cavalry upkeep is just way too high. So it might keep him kind of skimpy on the units. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Misclicked, but that's fine. I mean, I should have probably given titles too, but now I can't cancel, so it doesn't really matter. Um, two cavalry is probably enough. Alright, positive income. That's good enough. He got kicked out because they lost the territory. Yeah, it'd be right on time to build something here. So not too bad. And uh, we'll wait for those units to get ready and we'll come over here and actually help him. Ooh, Zanba got unique art. Tao Ying as well. Acclaimed successor. Not historically true. He was just a normal person living a normal life. Didn't want to enter into politics. Ooh. Me family dowry. That's something that should be given to us because when we were on the run in Donghai, when Lu Bu took our land, the Mi clan helped us out. They are really rich. That's his unique item, leader refugee. He stole that from Mi Fangpo, Mi Zhu, actually. Okay, we'll see who we can grab when the time comes, but now we'll just rest up here. All right, who did Koron recruit here? Everyone has a face. All right, we get additional replenishment. They want us to hold parts of Langya. A strong sign's born to Zhang Fei. Zhang Bao is here. Oh, Shi Yi. Okay. I could go claim those with Unity. Replenishment is going to be good enough even without the mustering, so I'm going to just move. Do I just want to go straight beeline for the city, though? No, I don't think Koron can take it, so I think I have plenty of time. I'm going to walk two turns in my land to get them healed pretty much close to full. What is our relationship right now? Closer to 60 to the point where there's no negative. Major threat to us. Really now, just because we recruited an army, he feels like we're a major threat to him. So I can only get plus one point just by making this go to 60, I think. Yeah, it's not worth it. We're going to pick our second reform. I don't think we have any potential trade partners, so we might cool off that. Probably get tier three for our tax, even though I can't build it until we get a small city. Are we close to a small city anywhere? Not really. 
I could rush, and that could actually make a pretty big difference because I can pick up Administrator, thus get another army slot. Basically spend all the cash we've been saving. Because now we satisfy the requirement for the eunuch secretary. And we can pick up a administrator slot. It is negative one food until we can do this. But I think the administrator we're going to stick to is Zhang Lu. All of that food bonus, all that peasantry bonus, public order bonus. It just makes sense. Plus the farm manager that's on him. 10% peasantry income. Abundance for 5 food, which really boosts our food here. This doesn't really fit him, but I don't have anything else that really fit either. Yeah, this is going to work. And I guess we will focus on food for now. This will walled city now. Zhang Lu's retinue should be in here next turn. I wonder what retinue he had as a... Oh my god, as a faction leader. Terrible units. Terrible units. But this also means we have another army slot. Because each administrator brings an army slot. So we can start thinking about recruiting this group onto the field. Hmm... I think I'll still go State Workshop. Yeah. It makes sense, because he eventually can boost Industry as well. And we can change this to like all three income if we pick that up. If we don't pick that up, we'll just keep it with a simple build like this. But anyhow, let's continue here. What's your all want to want to trade for our Clay Rat. No. The all Chinese events of Dong Zhuo will die in this run. That's good. What did I say? Oh, Zhou Yuan as well. So she's not a spy. Guo Jia has not been with any faction. Oh, he is a spy. Uh, I can't pick him up. Zhang Ji. Also not a spy. So husband and wife. Oh, actually, no. Zhang Ji would be... Yeah, husband and wife. Zhang Ji and Zhou Yuan, they're husband and wife. Because this is uh, Zhang Xiu's uncle, and this was the widow. I mean, the question is, what do you have to offer? Merciless looter. No unique skills. All right, we're going to grab the wife and probably not the husband. I wonder if the game has them married. We'll find out soon enough. I can't grab Guo Jia. I can grab him for the item. The silk pouch. I guess this will contain like stratagems. I could grab him and then grab the item and let him leave. He's he's definitely a spy. Like he joins Hulk Hall just this turn and you know, no dissatisfaction. Just ditched. That's impossible. Um I do have 2,000. I could just hire him and then fire him. Grab the item, and in the future he can still come back to me. Okay, that's what we're going to do actually. Most of our money in this campaign is probably going to go recruiting characters. <laughs> There's just so many of them. Thank you. Keep your strategy with us, and you can go back to... Tall, tall. So Tall is probably going to get your spy is returning after getting your spy has been recruited. He's not going to feel angry at you for that. And yeah, Zhang Zi is the the husband. The relationship is here. Um, that's a good item for him to hold. The seal is a good item too, but I don't really need more public orders. I'm going to let Trungle hold on to that. She wants to be on the field. Actually, no, we probably want to use that. I don't have money to summon anyone onto the field. That's the problem. Altian looks fine right now. We're going to have to save up a bit of money to be able to summon them. That's kind of the goal now. So let's continue here. 
Nong Zhuo is willing to give us peace if we become their vassal. Nope. Alrighty, so Han Fu Gong Zhuo. This is actually super historical. And then he should join uh, Yuan, Yuan Shao. Yep, that event triggered. Well, the, the allies are, are forming up pretty correctly here. All of the tyrant, Dong Zhuo is dead. Dong Min takes over. Jia Long. Okay, so he's from the Shu region. This will be a reaction to uh, Liu Yan entering Shu, but it's been a while, so he just kind of died to King Wu Tugu. He's supposed to lead a rebellion against uh, Liu Yan there. Oh. Same, so he's a lieutenant. They, they work together. I guess they because their faction got wiped together. Let's see. Do you guys have items? Uh, not good items. I don't think they have unique skills. So we're going to pass. Because we're poor too. <laughs> Too many artwork. I'm gonna go crazy here. I think we just fight this instead of using our point because it's an easy fight for us. I think we just delegate this one though. Zhao Yun also joins. So these events, they're not guaranteed. You have a percentage chance of triggering the event between certain turns. And Zhao Yun is between these early turns. And the game checks for these events post-battle. So if you're playing as Cao Cao, you're trying to pick up Dian Wei and Xu Chu and people like that through events, you want to keep fighting. Same thing as in our case. We got lucky. You know That fight triggered it. So fighting there was actually really, really good. We pick up Zhao Yun. Who is carrying a Jade Statue of Confucius? He has his Invincible Standard Armor. I think this is the Mighty Tiger Armor is going to be the MTU mod. I think it, like, I don't know if I need to do another mod, but essentially that will be changed when he hits level six, I think. And the armor that this one has is with the Blue Blade, which is Baby Protector, because Changban. He grabbed the blue blade in the romance novel and saved Liu Bei's son, um, who we should also be giving birth to in the future, I guess. It should be in our faction. I, I don't know how it's going to work with the mod. I assume they made the son. Maybe they didn't make him. Yeah, maybe they didn't make Liu Chan. We'll see. Uh, nothing different about him. He's the same exact character as the default game. Just a better weapon here. We might split the brothers up because the lack of strategists is definitely something we want to fix. And we do have two strategists that want to come onto the court. I think you're going to take Zhao Yun's weapon here. Zhao Yun is going to be pretty decently happy. This doesn't improve any happiness, but that's his unique item, so I'm not going to tear it away from him. All right, we picked up a little bit more income. We're going to have to save money to pull out a second army. Fighting Cao Cao will do it, but let's pick up the rest of uh, Long Yat over here. All right, Coral wants that military access, but he still sees us as a threat, but he's above... Oh, it's not above... Wait, why is... Why are we being checked as a strategic threat here? Minor threat, like he's... Because we're so close to each other? Like, we're trading. Why are you scared of us? Oh, he's still pretty stingy. I don't want to sign with him. I mean, if you're scared of us, mm, he does have pretty high opinions of our military strength. That is true. Perhaps we can force the Confederation with the ultimatum down the line. Because we can drop this by another 10 points if we put him at 150, which we can you know, kind of artificially do with some trade deals over promise some money. This would be like minus 20. If I can get a second army out, maybe he'll be even more scared of me. And then we can just issue ultimatum at around negative 10, and we should be able to pick his faction up. That'd be a pretty nice situation, but we'll reject for now. All right. We picked up an extra item here. 
Zhang Min, reliable transporter. Zhang Min, trying to figure out who did he help transport. I thought he was just sent out as a diplomat. Dong Zhuo's wife left the faction, willing to spy, so she actually left the faction. Uh, once again, we saved up a little bit of cash, and immediately we pretty much have to spend it. Now, I think the reason why she's here is because Dong Zhuo died, Intimidation went to zero, Satisfaction dip, and then she just peaced out because she has really bad traits. Um, no item on her, but I know for a fact she has special abilities because she's an MTU addition. So I kind of want to pick her up. Ah, oh, there goes our money. Well, I double clicked there, but by accident, but we got the right character. No one's defending. I'm just going to walk in. Only oh, one unit's easy. not healed. It's only one health. I will probably just annex this. Because we don't have a siege weapon, I don't want to waste a turn sieging, so we'll just pick it up by- I think I can annex on March, can I not? There we go. That will speed things up. That finish our mission, and we get to do your economy grows once we construct a building. We're gonna to have to get rid of a building first. And I would like to shift administrators now. Now, if he's on the field, I can do the one turn shift where, you know, we can pretty much uh, not have him go on cooldown and be angry with us. That means we have to summon him. I do want to summon the army, but we just don't have the money to do so. I'll keep the rest of the building. I'm going to use this to build a tax building. Tal Tan looks very good. Oh, Tal Tal is on the border. I mean, I want him to die. But we'll go help him after we pick up Bang out over here. Alrighty. We're gonna pick Kindness, because we actually has Kind. We have the same trait as Draugyun. Therefore, we don't kill anyone in duels. Uh, this will be a fight. Okay. I can't afford Zhang Lu. So we will summon him. I'm going to get rid of these two. And the reason why we want to summon him is because we're going to come here. We're going to dismiss, and when he's still on the field, I can shift and appoint on the same turn. And he would be unhappy, but not as unhappy than waiting the one turn. I need to maybe give him a title just to appease him for a little bit. I don't have any of the administrator ones yet, but he's not going to leave, you know. It'll be two points of office revoke going down each turn, lack of purpose, two points. So he'll be at 22 next turn. We'll be all right. We'll start building this. We'll cancel that, bring it over here. I guess I would want them to come and take this. That way our capital automatically shifts over here. And we're going to have to walk our army all the way back to go help Taotian out in the fight. Everyone is getting a little bit angry with us, but We'll just have to eat this uh, satisfaction hit. We'll be okay. Let's continue. Alright, Ben Shaw signed a peace deal with Domin. Military alliance with Han Fu. Oh, he peaced out with Hao Tao. Well, he has a son too. Now that's gonna be interesting. So, like, for example, we can't control them to fight forever. Another burn officer from Tao Tao, that's gonna be a spy. Same, same rationale. Not willing to spy for us, plus just recruited by Tal Tal, just a bad recipe. Um, so we're not gonna bite. Now he pieced out, doesn't mean we pieced out. So we still have to go fight Tal Tal. And we will. I 
I think we can march. Tothal's not gonna show up anywhere close. Yeah, he's gonna bounce back four points again next turn to 26, and then two points per turn after that. This is pretty much as um, as good of a transition as we can get. Now I think we shift our focus to tax selection building. And then we'll try to make some money off of fighting Tal's army and then recruit our second army once we have some cash on hand. Just our army of generals maybe, just to tag along. But yeah. We got schemed. Oof. This is faction Y too. Um, so we have no charge bonuses for the next five turn. We picked up your economy grows. Unity grows. If we have any assignment, which we do, it will refresh once we do something. She's back here. Did some faction pick you up and you got dumped again? Nope, still hang out. Okay, that's fine. You can hang out. We have military access with them. You see, our relationship is now dipping. And even if we drop this to negative 50, yeah, we're not going to be able to pick up their faction, which is a little annoying for us in terms of, like, if you want to pick up historical path, it's not really feasible. And I don't want to, like, you know, force a war between us. But we have military access, so we'll be fine. We'll march through his land and fight Taltal's army. And we'll focus on building... We should build things that actually cost money because we have the discount, but I think we can just apply the discount of the turns rather than the discount of the price. And we'll just try to build a couple things faster. I could summon the army here. I really want Jotai to come out. Alright, Chen Gong doesn't hate him. And I guess I want Zhao Yun as well. So Zhao Yun can come out next turn. They can't move this turn anyways, and once Zhao Yun come out, they can move on the same turn. So this is actually going to be fine. And we can have them go solo these places for us. We can make them move out a little bit. There we go. Or, actually... Wait, because uh, I moved them. I moved them twice, which actually cancels out the free move. I messed up the exploit. I can fix it, though. It doesn't interfere with... So basically, when you just summon someone, if you didn't do any moves, and you recall the first general, you actually have the full movement. So I can dump Zhao Yun with the other two general here next turn, and we can take this just to add it to our land. This is not enough to appease you. Hmm. That is rough. That is indeed very rough. Alright, I don't have any real means to fix that. I could marry her. Because if I marry her, we pick up at least her authority. 10% peasantry, 6 points of authority. We lose, we lose 10 points of public order, or 9 points, which is going to put us closer to a lot of rebellions, which might not be bad. Because we need an heir, right? We're missing kind of a character in terms of who can provide us satisfaction. I don't know. None of these bonuses are that good. I can wait a while longer. This can be our backup plan. We could marry her. Liu Bei's into Whittles. I mean, when he first took uh, Shu, he married a Whittle. Empress Wu. You got into pass. Like honestly, you're a quitter. You dragged us into this war with Tal Tal, and then you quit. Wow. Okay. Wulan. Uh, decent general, historically. 
plus the bonuses are nice. He might have some items to take a look. Han Tong. I think this is Han Fu uh, Han Fu San. Generic. He's back. Generic. I'm too poor to afford anyone. Oh, he does have an item. He has the empty lunch pail because Xun Yu is in his faction. He stole it. Oh, he has a gold weapon. Okay, we're going to fight with this army over here that we wanted to use. Zhao Yun, we can summon? No, we can't. Full retinue. Well, this army is free. Do I want to swap them out in this case? Uh, why don't we just take the free army? Who should lead? Doesn't really matter. We should be strong enough to delegate this. Yes, we can. Hmm, the invisible spear animation. Alright, just enough cash. Level up as administrator. We're gonna gun for... Let's get the peasantry boost first. The industry can wait. Alright, they did great. We got a nice item. So, I think we grab Guo Si first with a gold weapon. Can't really refuse these things. Weapons are just so good. Han Tong has the empty lunch pail. This is more of a... We'll talk about the story behind this, but we don't really need this. This is probably why he left his father, the minus 10 satisfaction. <laughs> He's like, ooh, gold item, pick it up. And then it's like, I'm leaving. I'm going to grab Guo Si first. Oh, we're in dangerously low levels. I'm going to just give you Orator. Shungong is at 4 points. You become Attendant. And you become Patrol Commander. It's three cheapest positions we can find. We need this piece of land. You interested in swapping? Meal. I'll give you the Iron Mine, which is actually pretty lucrative. Yeah, armor is pretty useless. I have a bunch of food. We can use it in trade. Ah, it's just currently bugged out a little. Just do that. It come right back on. I think that's a pretty good deal for us. We get 10 points of uh, satisfaction boost from that command versus the extra money increase. do this. And we'll try to grab Peng Zhong from Cao Cao over here. I don't think we can take that. But we could potentially get to 50 points. We're losing a lot of points right now because our characters are not happy with us. We kind of fixed most of it, especially with this plus 10. So hopefully we'll be gaining a lot of points soon instead of losing them. Oh, it's a set too. Symbol of Fury Courage, Unbreakable. Wow. That makes him even better. 
Okay, let's continue. We're getting schemed again. Plus two construction time, faction wide for five turns. This is what's going to make our campaign a little bit harder than it needs to be. All these schemes coming at us all the time. Um, see, now I give away these titles. It's kind of hard to get them back. That's fine. Like, I could pull this, but if we look at the damage, it's not really worth it. I just want the army hanging out on the field, to be honest. They can come over here and assist us, get some experience, build some relationship. That's not bad either. I want to prevent them from taking that. I don't mind to march. I doubt they'll be brave enough to siege us. Oh, see, he's back. That spy. Spy returning, definitely. We hired him, fired him. Zhang Hong as well. I mean, technically, historically, Zhang Hong would be in Cao Cao's court since he was sent as a diplomat to Cao Cao's court. Ah, it just takes longer. We'll put up with it. Like, what can we do, right? Oh, and Yuan Shao declares war on us. Actually, fairly historical. Alright, Tao Tian's army actually helped us fight off the Yellow Turban. Very thankful of them. And we'll get to fight Sao Yuan on March with a very tired army trying to get to our Long Yacht. We're not going to be able to make it to assist, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's pretty much as good as we can get here. Alright, let's fight Sao Huyuan over here. 5% chance of capturing all of them. I think most of the reason is because he's honorable. So we got a minus 10. Um, I don't even think he has patience right now. Technically, anyone else will be better. But I can't switch now because we already engaged. It's fine. Um, it's not going to make a huge difference. Like 15% is not going to do much better. Alrighty. We're on offense, they're on defense, but because they're on march, there's no time limit. So I don't know if they'll actually walk up to us or not. Most likely no, given that they have a nice little tower there too. But they might because they have- oh, they're just shifting. So we have to approach them. Crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. Anyone willing to duel us? Oh, Cha Hou Yuan, you fool. Okay, we'll challenge him first. Ah, their Qingzhou units lit their own fire. <laughs> uh, happens. Happens to the best of us. They have the raider trait. Alright, we get to enjoy this first. What spear is he using? Fishbone spear. Definitely added. 1.8k base. Well, that's actually pretty strong. But it took away most of his melee evasion because of minus 15 expertise. So every hit's actually landing on him. What's his other item? Symbol of frugality. That can't be his. That has to be Lady Bian's, I think. Famously, she picked out like the cheaper, not the cheap is, but like the cheaper jewelries. Anyways, I don't think Sao Yan is particularly known for being frugal. Seems like they're marching up towards us after that death. Got 
得好！赶快，加快速度！Tiger Cubs. Okay. I mean, we recruited pretty much all spear for this exact reason. That Cao Cao has a lot of cavalry. Alright, got intercepted here. I think we just want to dump our abilities on them and just get out. I don't want to really be in the sustained fight here. Yeah, that's good. We want to use our units for once. What? We left him behind? <gasps> he got dismounted. Oh no, brother. Brother, we're back. Fight, fight, fight. Sorry. Nobody's pretty decent. Alright, go, go, brother, go. We got you. Alright, too many spear units. We don't want the same thing to happen to us. But we don't want to just go back. We want to go disrupt their range units. Nobody's free to come back. They can't really charge us. There's like no opening for them. They could even counter charge if they want. Wait, why are we not charging that guy? Yeah, they're just frozen there because they, they know they can't. They don't have an opening. All right, I can flank from the side now. One of them is going to clear one and then go back over here. Be brave! You guys are spear guards. You guys are good at this. Flank out. Flank out. Oh, they charged. They charged. Get them. Flank. Flank. Uh, but we have no charge bonus. I just realized that. Because uh, we got schemed. There goes most of our damage. But we'll still rush them for regular attack. Yeah, our cavalry is worthless because we got schemed. Alright, you two go over there and help. You two still keep this line in case the enemy cavalry comes. Nobody go chop people up. Push out. You're fine. That guy's dead. You guys all come over here. Give everyone unbreakable here. We got this. Sheer mass of our militia can do this. We still have a few. I don't think we need to reserve that anymore. That's the only cavalry unit that's out there. And we're gonna go wipe them out with our generals. Oh no no, no. you stay on stay on your target. Stay on this guy. Cavalry, come over here. Come over here. I mean, the only reason those units are not routing is because they're the, uh, the Qingzhou units with the 30 seconds of unbreakable before they actually break. Army loss is kicking in. We'll let the strat just run away. It's a resounding victory for us. They have 21 seconds where they're just not going to route, so we're just going to try to kill as many as we can. 
Look at our massive army here. Good job, guys. Mop it up, mop it up. I think their tower is actually doing more damage to their own troops. All right, their time is up. We'll pick up the win here. Alrighty. Oh, this is a tough decision. I think we take him and we rationalize it thinking that Zhang Fei, you know, took the daughters for the wife in this period. A little bit later than now, but relatively in this period. Like, I don't want to kill him, right? That's for sure. And this was the 5% chance. Although we did get decisive, so we probably bumped it up for another like 14%-ish. It's still a very low percent chance. We pick him up, I think. He got maimed. But, you know, everyone gets injured eventually. And members of the Xiaohou clan did eventually join the Kingdom of Shu. Way down the line. Alright, I think we can actually use that as a good save point. Uh, their army is still stranded here. And we might get another chance to capture Guotia. And actually keep them. That battle alone made us so much money. So we can even consider picking up Hantong over here at the beginning of the next episode. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. We do need to build up our economy, which is struggling. Not surprisingly, because, you know, we really don't have a lot of land. And if we're going to try to keep things historical, we're not going to have a lot of land unless we take Taotian's land. So we might have to enforce history by actually taking their land soon. We'll see what happens. Oh, he has We fly over here. How did he join up with him? No items on him, though. Miju, you got your item stolen, I know. I'll try to get it back for you. Liang Xing? Xidang Warhorse, right? Like, he's not supposed to be in this area either. I think he actually ends up killing uh, Li Jue and Guo Si for Cao Cao way down the line. He's still young, yeah. But see that Warhorse would be a new item too. All right, a lot of interesting things with these mods, and uh, we'll just come back here. I'll at least take this. This would be another place where we can put a tax collection and just level it up a bunch to be our basic source of income. It's still not going to be a lot of money. Um, we might pick up a more interesting reform next turn as well. Guan is leveling up really fast, which is nice. Anyhow, uh, we'll come back next time. So until then, bye!